Hey, what up guys? It's story time and this is about a story that you guys requested from the assumptions video and it's about that one time that I went to jail. Um, so it starts off with a love story. Uh, me and Gio were dating barely at this point, maybe went on a couple of dates. I would say this is probably back in 2008, 2009. And uh, if you guys know about our story of how we got together, the whole snowboard trip and everything, and this was um, during that period. We went on a couple snowboard trips. We were friends of friends, but we didn't really know each other. So I think this was just as scary for Gio as it was surprising for me. One night, um, we decided to go get some food and hang out and watch a movie. And on the way home, uh, I was driving and I had this Toyota X Runner. If you guys know anything about cars, it's a lower truck with six speed manual, handles really good, like a 350Z. And I was, I've always been like a fast driver. So I was just driving kind of fast, and Gio likes it too. So she drives fast. And I uh, run a stop sign. When I run the stop sign, I didn't see the cop in the corner because it was like 2 a.m. at night or something, or 11 p.m. at night. I pull, we turn, we're about maybe four or five houses away from Gio's house where she was living at with her roommate friends at the time. And this cop pulls me over. And at that time I was like, okay, cool. It's just, you know, I ran a red light. I, I fucked up. I'll just get a ticket. He pulls me over. The cop comes and uh, he has a license his registration. Everything seems very normal. Gio wasn't alarmed or anything. It just seemed like a routine traffic stop and I fucked up. So we just got to go with it and then be on with our way and go back home and watch. Uh, oh, we probably actually went and got a video from like Blockbuster. This is back in the days when Netflix didn't really exist and you had to go out and get a movie and then rent it. Gets my license and registration, goes back to his car. Me and Gio are just talking, having a good time because we're still in our honeymoon phase. He comes back. And then he goes, I'm going to need you to step outside of the car. And I'm like, oh, shit. What the fuck? Why? And then I'm thinking, hey, motherfucker, I know my rights. I don't need to step out of this car. So I was like, sir, um, I don't have to step outside of the car if I don't want to unless you have, uh, what was the term? Like, uh, it's not expected reason or reason to search or something. But there's like a, a, a law term, which is like it, it, it gives the, the cop the right to search you. And he goes... I have a warrant for your arrest. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then Gio looks at me and she was like, who the fuck am I dating right now? And I look at her and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck is happening. I don't even know who I am. So he pulls me out, sits me on the curb. Gio standing, kind of embarrassing, kind of cold. And he starts going through all my shit. And I'm like, hey, officer, I just want to let you know, I don't know what's happening right now, but I'm a Marine. I have to pull that car to let him know everything's cool. And I was like, I don't have any weapons or drugs in this vehicle. And I think there might be a mix up. I don't know where this warrant came from. I was like, if you look under the driver's seat, and I actually had it because I just got a stack of uh, police applications. I was looking to become a police officer at the time. I was like, you'll see I have applications to the Burbank Police Department, Santa Monica Police Department, Glendale Police Department. This must be a mix up. He goes, no, it's not a mix up. And he did see my papers. He searched my car very thoroughly. And he was actually very respectful. He wasn't like talking shit to me or anything like that. But Gio was still very scared. She didn't know what was going on. And uh, he didn't find any contraband, of course. And he was very polite. And he goes, well, I'm going to have to arrest you and take you in. And I'm like, this is blowing my fucking mind. I just went to go rent a movie with Gio. And I thought we were going to have a good time. And out of nowhere, at like 11 or 12 at night, I am about to get arrested for a warrant. I'm like, and I just started, my thoughts start racing, right? I'm like, what happened? Like, I'm like, what, what, where, is this something that I did a long time ago in the past? I used to sell drugs in high school. Did this come back and haunt me? Is this like a house I broke into a long time ago? Is this a car I, I've stolen? Like, what is going on? I did a bunch of crime in high school that I am not proud of. And I fucked up a lot because I lived that Asian thug life. But I'm like, I'm a different person now. You know, I'm going to college. I'm a Marine. I'm trying to apply to be a police officer. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And I'm like, sir, if you have to do your job, go ahead. So he just arrested me. I complied, complied and cooperated the whole time while Gio was just standing there with her eyes like, who the fuck is Bart? So I was just telling Gio, I'm like, I'll call you. I don't know what's happening. 
he puts me in the police car and uh he was actually really nice i was sitting in the back of the police car my handcuffs were cuffed and then um what he was telling me he goes so the police code that's runs up on his computer says it came from El Monte Police Department. He was Alhambra Police Department. So they have different codes and he actually doesn't know what that code means. It could mean all the way that I'm a murderer to someone that peed in public. Like he wouldn't know. He just has to do his job and bring me in. So I'm like, all right, cool. He doesn't know why I got in trouble. I don't know why I'm in trouble. I'm just going to go along for the ride. But he was actually a really nice guy because we ended up talking about the military. He was a former uh, army and then we went into uh, the back of Alhambra Police Department. There's a holding cell. He takes me in there. And the first thing he does is uh, he pretty much cuts all my shoelaces, takes the drawstring out of my pants and cut that because he's going to lock me up. And he can't, I, I can't have any weapons on me. So he takes my cell phone, my keys, all that stuff. So now I have these like basketball shirts that are about to fall on the ground. I can't really walk anywhere with my shoes because my shoelaces are out. I'm like, he's just doing his job. So even though I was kind of upset and it felt weird, I was just like, I have to go along for the ride. He puts me into the cell, locks the cell. Inside the cell was like this bald cholo dude that was just sleeping there. I don't know how long he's been there. And keep in mind, this holding cell or jail is really, really cold. And I'm a hot person and I'm like, fuck, it's fucking cold in here. And there's like a little urinal on the side. So if I needed to pee, I would have to whip my dick out in front of this cholo dude. So I'm like, damn, this is a really weird environment. It's 12 o'clock at night. I don't know what's happening. And all these thoughts start racing through my head. I don't know if this was something that I fucked up back in the day because I used to live in Almani with my dad. Something that happened in Almani. I look at this cholo dude. I'm like, is this going to be one of those times where it's like those prison movie scenes where he has to bend me over and fuck me in the ass or beat the fuck out of me or, or like at the minute like the cops go around the corner it's gonna turn into a fucking big ass fight and he's gonna kick my teeth in like i don't know what was going on so i'm, I'm just gonna sit in a defensive position so i was just sitting there making sure that if anything happens i'm squared away with him and i'm, I'm gonna try not to take a piss because he's gonna look look at my dick he was just laying there the whole time, mind, uh, mind his own business, and the whole night would pass, and I would see just crazies come in. I would saw like a drunk clown get arrested, get thrown in a cell. I saw some like hot girls, like club girls that were probably got too rowdy, got into a fight. They get pulled in, thrown in a cell, and I'm just in there, and I'm like, fuck. You know when you don't know when something's going to end? That's when things feel like the longest. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be in here for, is it going to be one of those things where I'm here for three days? Or a couple hours like I don't know anything it's just it's happening at night they just have to communicate with the Amani police department I'm like Amani please pick up pick up pick up pick up and I want to get the shit cleared up and then I'm like fuck I actually have to pee I got up I peed I'm like don't look at my dick you fucking cholo and then I peed I sat back down finally the guy comes out and he goes hey Bart uh, you can come out now and you know what I got locked up for four hours for so it was a unpaid pet license from back in El Monte when I was in high school. Uh, when I lived with my dad, there was one time where Tyson, my old dog, he got loose. And then the Animal Humane Society, they took him and they took him into the shelter. And when I released him, I was supposed to pay for his little pet tag. I forgot to pay it. So that thing somehow became a citation and then over time the citation turns into a warrant and it became like this big thing on a computer and I ended up getting arrested for a dog that I didn't even own anymore. He used to live with my dad and I'm like, oh my fucking God, this is all because of a fucking pet. I could have been butt fucked by a cholo or got my ass beat by a cholo. And I had to pull my dick out in front of a cholo all because of my dog. But I guess it, it's still my fault because I ran the red light. Or not the red light, the stop sign. So I called Gio. And then I was like, please, someone pick up. It's 4 a.m. now. I was in there for four hours. She picks up. And then I'm like, oh, thank God. Like, what a ride or die chick. Like, she was just so worried about me. She's like, I can't go to sleep. She picked up. She comes pick me up. And I explained the whole thing to her. We both have our big laughs that it was just over Tyson and... It ended up being nothing, but because of that, that was my one time that I've been in jail, and uh, it was for something that wasn't even criminal. Thank you guys for listening to this story. 
Um, it was a really, it was a very interesting time in my opinion. I, I, I saw the back of a police department where I think most people have never seen. Let me know in the comments below if you want to hear any other story times that you've ever heard in any vlogs or any JK News episodes in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.